Welcome again to Educator.com and now we are going to do another story check-in and this we're going to be talking about symbols and symbolism in literature and also in movies or video games or pretty much any other thing that tells a story. So we're going to go over a couple questions here and first off we need to know what is a symbol? Well that's kind of a big category, what do I mean by that? And then we're going to ask, what kinds of stories use symbols most often? Some more than others. And there's also a very interesting question about who actually puts the symbols in the book. Did the writer put them on purpose, or did the audience find them later? Well, there's a lot of other things about that. And then fourth, we're going to go briefly over how to identify and also how to interpret symbols. So, let us begin. Oh, wow, here's a symbol. This is a symbol of a big golden statue with wings and a staff and a golden wreath. Well, it turns out that this statue is a symbol. Specifically, it is the Roman goddess Victoria. And I bet you can figure out what she is a symbol for. Well, she's a symbol for victory. Have you ever seen that Nike swoosh symbol on your sneakers? Well, that was kind of one of her symbols. So she is a symbol for victory. How do I know that she's a symbol of victory and not a symbol of gold and wealth? Well, because the Romans made the statue, and I'm going to think like a Roman when I look at the statue, and once I know that, I'm going to interpret it like a Roman would. I'm not going to just make up a meaning and say, oh, that golden statue? Uh, well, that's a symbol of, uh, I don't know, religious diversity in the United States. Well, no, no, that, that's not what this statue is all about. And she's not even about victories in sports, by the way. I'm talking about bloody, brutal military victory. That is what this goddess symbolizes. Oh, hey, what's this symbol? Well, this is a cross, so it must symbolize Christianity, right? Now, let's get a little bit more specific than that, and let's think about who uses a symbol and how they interpret it. Well, this is a specific kind of cross. You notice it has this little circle behind it, and you notice the edges of the cross kind of fan out a little bit. This is a Celtic cross. And Celtic crosses symbolize not just Christianity in general, but it's kind of a patriotic and a religious symbol of, you know, Christianity in places like Ireland. That is what the Celtic cross symbolizes. Oh, hey, what does this symbolize? This one should be pretty familiar. It should symbolize runaway scared because you're going to get radiation poisoning if you open this door. This is a warning symbol, a radiation symbol. And we, it's our symbol in the United States, so we're just going to interpret it like we're supposed to interpret it. Hey, look at that. I don't want to get radiation poisoning. Danger might be one word I use to describe this symbol. 